Good evening. Earlier this week, President Trump tweeted that transgender people will be banned from serving in the military. The LGBT community calls this a massive step back from President Obama's repeal of the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy. News 13's Brianna Gallegos joins us tonight with the local transgender airman's reaction to the president's announcement. Brianna. Madeline, since the tweet was sent, transgender service members, past and present, have spoken out about this across the country. Now an airman station here in New Mexico is speaking out too, saying she proudly serves her country and is fit for the job. From boot camp to regular physical training tests. We're held to these, these standards and if we can't meet the standards, uh, transgender or not, you know, there's no point in us uh, serving. To serving in our nation's military, like Airman First Class Canis Bryan, you have to be up to par. She's been in the Air Force for two years now and wears the same uniform, performing the same duties as her fellow airmen. Bryan is now undergoing a physical change. I've been on the treatment for a good amount of time now. I've been cleared for the majority of it. Brian identifies as a woman, but was biologically a male at birth. For the most part, yeah, I'm treated with respect and civility. On Wednesday, her commander in chief tweeted this. President Trump wants to ban all transgender individuals from serving in the military in any capacity, saying their medical costs are too high and that transgender people are a disruption. Brian disagrees. It's really divisive and Un unpatriotic. She says diversity is our nation's military. Being different in this country is what makes us strong. We we have such a wide range of different people in this country, you know, and it brings something new to the table. Since her journey began in October, she has had the support of many airmen, including those who outrank her. She says the words on Twitter won't hold her back or the thousands of other transgender troops. It's going to take a lot more than a handful of tweets. To deter us, we're going to be strong. We're going to stand together. Although Trump tweeted the ban, it has to pass by Congress before going into effect. Until then, Brian says she will proudly be serving. Madeline, back to you. All right, thank you, Brianna. 18 attorneys general around the U.S. are asking Congress prohibit discrimination against transgender service members. That includes New Mexico AG Hector Balderas.